right, let's go ahead and take a live look outside. Time right now, 517. Cloudy mm -hmm. out there. We've been tracking some things. Oh, yeah, very unstable out there. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is joining us now with the forecast this evening, Ashley. All right, we've had several severe thunderstorms tonight. Uh, only one producing those tornado warnings that we had earlier. We were on the air for about 20 minutes with you with those warnings. And I want to show you what came of that, okay? So let's kind of go over that. Rush County is where we actually saw the warnings. You see the three little white dots there? Those are storm reports, right? So let's go over some of those reports that came in. Um, this one coming in from Arlington. Uh, it says that wind damage to trees, 9,100 block there, uh, tornado possible. So that's one of the reports that came in when we started to say, hey, tornado warning out in this location. Are we seeing any damage? And these are the damage reports coming in. Damage at Posey Township Volunteer, uh, the Volunteer Fire Department reported uh, by first responder, responders were tornado possible. So uh, that report also came in there. Uh, and as we look at what's happening here, another report coming in from Arlington uh, looks like uh, damage to a residence there. So tornado watch out. And Tara just pointed out there is a new thunderstorm warning that now has been issued. So I'm going to zoom into that warning. Thank you, Tara. Uh, this new thunderstorm warning issued now. Uh, zoom into it. It's actually just uh, east of Connorsville. Heavy rain reported there. That's until 6 p.m. and includes Union County. This one moving out of the state, across the state line. This warning out until 6 p.m. Uh, so if you can keep me updated on any warnings that come out uh, as we are in this forecast, because there's quite a few things that I want to talk about here, including the thunderstorm warning that's out right now for Jennings County. You can scan the QR code and see uh, the radar, exactly what's happening in your neighborhood as we kind of go through this. So just scan that code, you'll go right to this radar. Uh, let's zoom into the south. We see thunderstorm warning that's out for Jennings County. That's until 5.30, so for another 10 minutes, that thunderstorm warning out for Jenning, Jennings County there. Looking to the north, uh, this area, not under the risk, but seeing what we call special weather statements, the special weather statements, it's really something that we just added to our radar. And this is really just a visual confirmation for me to watch the storm. This is not strong enough for a thunderstorm warning. It's just letting me know that this is something that I should monitor as we move over the next several hours with heavy rain with that system to the north. 465 loop, pretty quiet with some cloud cover there. We're still tracking our main threats, wind, hail, possible tornado, as those are the main threats with any thunderstorm that we track. Those are the severe conditions components that we speak of when we're tracking storms. Futurecast, our forecasting model, this was really our first indication yesterday when we started to look at this for the possibility of strong storms. Let's see where Futurecast takes us tonight. It takes these storms out of here by 7.30, 8 o'clock, done with the system as it moves out of the state, drying out the atmosphere. And this is a really good process for us as we dry out into Thursday and even bring some sunshine your way on Thursday. So give us a couple hours. I'm talking 7 o'clock, done with storm chances, door, done with severe threat and we'll go into some great weather. My pick of the week, sunshine, dry air in place. We should be at 81. I'm talking a temperature of 78 and looking good, but that won't last long. We're going to bring rain back on Friday. Rain and thunderstorms, a cold front cooling things down with a few lingering showers into Saturday. So the active pattern, we're not done with it. Peterman Brothers, heating and cooling forecast. Temperatures over the next eight days, watching the numbers drop off behind a front on Friday. A few lingering showers into Saturday morning, but that won't last long. We're looking at a good-looking weekend here. Upper 70s, low 80s, rain chances return on Sunday night into Monday. And next week, we bring that summer heat, some of the warmest air of the year so far. We have yet to see 90, and it looks like we could get there by next Wednesday, several days next week, showing the trend of bringing the warmest air of the year. Just kind of expand out one more time. A couple warnings still out there that we're monitoring right now. No rotating thunderstorms, although there is a straight of watch out 